so now we need to measure the full square. what we have so far. Those squares or rectangles in the center are the ribs. I'm going to measure those out. So the only thing that we'll need to know on the ribs is where that rib comes up on the side so that way we can make a little indent and make room for make room for that. So these ribs come out. We'll cut them at one inch. So they come out about one inch off of the side so Now we need an offset from one plane, six and three quarter, that ends at seven and a half. Twenty-three and a quarter, three and a quarter, and then twenty-four. Thirty-eight and five-eighths, thirty-nine and three-eighths. Probably pretty boring to watch, so I'll finish measuring. I'll show you my sheet afterwards and then we'll start cutting. So now we're cutting out the notches for the ribs. Now, I know that they stand out one inch, so I can measure out one inch. And then I measured from each corner, so that would be this corner, and mark. So on this side, it's seven and... Seven and an eighth, eight and five eighths, twenty three and a half, twenty five, thirty eight and seven eighths, forty and three eighths. Then we go to the top one inch line and do the measurings there seven and a half, eight and a quarter. Connect the dots. use this jigsaw and just cut them out. Now all that's left is just trowel fitting it and then sanding down any edges that don't really fit well. This is another project that I plan on doing. This is from Marine Fiberglass Direct. They had the best price for a handrail. So this is about 35 or 36 inches. I forget which one it is. They have both. But this way I can have a handle 
and we'll see where to mount it but I'm gonna get this floor done first and then take it out on the water and see where I want to place it but for now we're gonna go ahead get to mounting this floor to the boat all right so day two we have the floor cut and fitted so it fits in the boat touches the styrofoam everywhere doesn't touch or very lightly touches any part of the aluminum so now that it sits flat on the styrofoam we need to go ahead drill our holes and get the rib nuts into the ribs because that's how I'm going to secure it to the boat so a rib nut is this it's like a rivet it goes into metal so like these ribs you can't reach the other side of the rib right so you can't put a regular uh, nut or bolt there or nut so with this it's like a rivet you drill a hole Let's see if we can get a close-up on it you drill a hole you put this in it and you crimp it down like a rivet but on the inside there's threads so that way you can thread a bolt into it so that's what we're going to be doing is putting that in the ribs we're going to do six so I'm going to do two on each rib going lengthwise so we'll go one two three four five six and we'll just drill it mark it in the plywood first probably do like a chalk line from one rib to the other so we know where center is on that rib and then drill our holes where I think would be a good place. So with these lines, we don't want it too far in because then it'll start pulling up this way and it'll bow down and bow up on the sides. We don't want to go too close to here because then you're not giving this any. So maybe, I think that'd be good. So I'm gonna put mine about two and a quarter. That way you can get a nice uh, starting point on the rib so that way we can just lift the floor up, drill those holes where we marked it with the other drill bit drill, drilling through the wood, insert our rib nuts and then we can put the floor back in and see if everything mounts up right. Biggest thing with these rib nuts is to get them straight. You can crimp them and they'll go to the side so you want to try to keep it as straight as possible. So I have nine of them and we're going to use six so hopefully I don't screw up too bad. So let's go ahead and get on it. So what you do is you thread it on. Squeeze just like a rivet. Loose, get it tight up against it again. And then heard a little pop, so hopefully that's it. to bolt something to yeah that's that's solid in there make sure your hole is clean too okay, we'll just throw it on there this is from uh, Harbor Freight great kit comes with the rivets and everything or the rib nuts so one squeeze you let go, you get a little bit of space, squeeze it just a little, screw down just a little bit more. Go to here, just a little pop. Maybe it's scrimped in all the way. It's not moving at all, so I guess it's good. Alright, so hopefully my measurements were right, and I drilled the holes in the right places. Because we are going to see... So that's what it looks like. I have a few 
few other things that I want to add to it. This area here in the center. That's really it. 